Hello students, in this video let us learn how to calculate total earnings of a worker in four different methods. So for, this is the problem which was asked in the Bangalore University BCom examination for 14 marks in the year 2017. So first let us understand the problem and information given before calculating the total earnings. From the following you are required to calculate the earnings of a worker for a week under. So, we will use the information use the earnings of a worker. We will calculate the earnings of a worker in one week. So, this is so, the method of straight piece rate system, Taylor's differential piece rate system, Halse premium plan is nothing but Halse plan, Rowan premium plan is nothing but Rowan's plan. So, in these four different methods, we need to calculate total earnings of a worker for a week. So one thing you are supposed to keep in your mind that is uh, if you calculate total earnings by using these four different methods you are not going to get same total earning. Andre, in Alku method you need total earning in calculate Madara name get total earning same baradilla. You are going to get different total earnings in these four different methods. So uh, they have given some information. Uh, by using this information, we need to calculate total earnings. The first information they have given is weekly working hours 48. In the sense, this is the actual time they are going to work. In a week, uh, the, a worker is going to work for 48 hours. This is the actual time. Then hourly wage rate, rupees 30. In the sense, the company is going to pay 30 rupees per hour. So these uh, 30 rupees we require for the purpose of calculation of total earnings of a worker under Halsey plan and Rowan's plan. Then piece rate per unit is also given that is 12 rupees in the sense if a worker produce one piece is going to get 12 rupees. So this 12 rupees we require to calculate total earnings under straight piece rate system and Taylor's differential piece rate system. And this is 30 rupees in Koti Dara. This 30 rupees we have to calculate the total earnings in the Halsey plan and Rowan's plan. That's why we have to calculate the total earnings in the Halsey plan. That's why we have to calculate the total straight piece rate system and Taylor's differential piece rate system and total earnings and calculate then after that they have given information about normal time allowed per piece is 12 minutes in the sense the company have allotted 12 minutes to produce one piece so this is the actual time that's, uh, that has to be taken by a worker to produce one piece so after that they have given normal output per week 240 pieces in the sense in 48 hours the worker is expected to produce 240 pieces then actual output for a week is 300 pieces this is the normal normal output expected by the company from a worker in a week is 240 pieces but actually the worker has produced 300 pieces andre oba worker inda naavu normal agi en maartide company 240 pieces anna one week alli andre 48 hours alli expect maartta ide but no actually agi oba worker en maadidane one week alli ade ade 48 hours alli 300 pieces anna produce maadidane then they have given differential piece rate 80% of piece rate when output is below normal and 120% of piece rate when output is above normal. This information we require for the purpose of calculation of Taylor's differential piece rate system. So here it is stated that 80% has to be paid to a worker that is 80% of the piece rate has to be paid to a worker if his performance of or if his actual output is less than the less than the normal output and the worker na actual output normal output kinta kadame idre the company has to pay only 80 percent of piece rate in the sense 80 percent of 12 rupees that is piece rate other retaily 120% of piece rate when output above normal and worker na actual performance actual output normal capacity normal output 
ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪೇಯ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಒನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಸ್ ರೇಟ್ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ನೋಟ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ದಿ ವೈ ನೋ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ವಿ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ನೋಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಆರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ವೀಕ್ ವಿ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ for the purpose of calculation of bonus under halse plan and rowan's plan it is not given in the problem so we need to calculate standard time first so standard time can be calculated by using the information that is here 300 uh, pieces is the actual output for a week that is normal agi avaru ishtu produce madbekagittu 240 pieces 240 pieces has to be produced by a worker but actually he has produced 300 pieces so 300 pieces into 12 minutes in the sense here the normal time allowed per piece is 12 minutes so one unit anna produce madbekandre 12 minutes beku anta company helide so 300 pieces produce agide so first we need to calculate total time taken in minutes so 300 pieces into 12 minutes is equal to 3600 minutes so we require standard time in hours because here work weekly working that is uh, actual working is given in hours so that uh, that can be calculated that means the 3600 minutes can be calculated by dividing 60 minutes this 60 minutes is 1 hour in the sense 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes so 3600 minutes divided by 60 minutes you will get 60 hours this is the standard time so uh, simply it is 300 actual output into 12 minutes per piece divided by 60 minutes that is 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes you are going to get 60 hours as a standard time so after calculating standard time we need to calculate time saved so time saved can be calculated by deducting actual time from the standard time andre actual time inda navu standard time anna deduct madidre namge time is to save agide anta gothagutte now standard time na calculate madidivi we have already calculated standard time that is 60 hours and actual time is given in the problem that is weekly working hours is 48 so 48 has to be deducted from 60 hours so 12 hours is time saved by the worker so this 12 hour we require for the purpose of calculation of bonus under halse plan and rowan's plan namge ee time saved enakke beku anta helidare bonus anna calculate madodakke under halse plan matte rowan's plan alli so after calculating time saved let us calculate total earnings under straight piece rate system first under straight piece rate system total earnings can be calculated by multiplying actual output with the piece rate per unit it is very simple actual age to produce madidare matte one piece ge s2 rate to company fix madide actually the worker has produced 300 pieces it is given in the problem actual output for a week is 300 pieces and piece rate per unit is also given that is 12 rupees so 300 into 12 that is total earning 3600 rupees it is very simple actual age to produce madirtare one piece ge estu rate ide so multiply madidre nimge total earning sigutte under straight piece rate system next Uh, second one is tailless differential piece rate system so before calculating total earnings first we need to calculate efficiency of the worker andre illi clear agi illidare iga output bandu below normal andre standard en irutte adakinta kadame idre 80% anna pay maadi above standard above above normal output idre neevu 120% of piece rate na pay maadi anta tailless differential piece rate system helutte so for that purpose we need to calculate actual you know efficiency of the worker by using the formula that is actual output divided by normal or standard output into 100 here actual output is 300 hours you know 300 pieces 300 pieces in the uh, pieces given in the problem and normal or standard output is 240 pieces this is normal output per week 240 pieces 300 divided by 240 into 100 you will get 125% this is more than the normal 
or standard output if we consider uh, normal or standard output as 100% the actual output is 125% so it is more than 100% so since actual output is more than normal output that is 125% worker has to be paid with 120% of piece rate illi clear agididare normal output ginta kadame enadru actual output idre 80% piece rate na kodbeku ade reethiyalli actual output normal output ginta jaasti ide ante helidre 120% of piece rate na kodbeku so illi 125% ide so it is more than the normal output illi ni simple agi artha maadkonabodu nodi illi normal output 240 piece ide actual output 300 ide so it is more than more than normal output alva so illi nimge gothagutte so simply we need to calculate percentage that is 125% other cows we need to pay 120 percent of piece rate therefore total earnings is equal to actual output 300 hours into 12 rupees is the normal piece rate uh, given in the problem into 120 percent 120 percent in a case since the efficiency of the worker is more than the normal or standard output that is 125 percent other course grade mark now 120 percent in the pay mark 300 into 12 into 120 percent you will get 14.4 rupees so 300 into 14.4 rupees total earnings is equal to 4320 so if they have the circumstance only if they have the name on the consider mother suppose it leave efficiency of the worker 90 percent month on the 90 percent is there 90 percent is written that it is it is below the normal normal output so normal output 100 percent is there actual output bandhu 90 percent that is efficiency of the worker is 90 percent is there in the other there will be 120 percent on the pay model agila instead of that we are supposed to pay 80 percent of the piece rate that is 12 into 80 percent on the pay model we can get the yavaga even the efficiency less than 100 percent is there if it is less than 100 percent you are supposed to pay only 80 percent not 120 percent since it is more than 100 percent that is 125 percent we are paying 120 percent of the piece rate that is 14.4 rupees in, instead of paying 12 rupees so total earnings under taylor's uh, differential piece rate system is 4320 rupees so next we need to calculate total earnings under halse premium plan so if the formula is uh, total earnings is equal to time taken into rate per hour plus bonus so time taken is 48 hours that, that is given in the problem 48 hours in a week they are supposed to work this is the time taken by the worker 48 hours into rate per hour is given in the pro given in the problem that is hourly wage rate rupees 30 plus bonus so bonus we need to calculate so bonus under halse plan can be calculated by using the formula that is 50 percent of time saved into rate per hour so 50 percent is constant time saved we have already calculated that is 12 hours 60 hours minus 48 hours 12 hours into rate per hour that is 30 rupees 12 into 30 per 30 rupees you will get 360 so 360 into 50 percent you will get 180 rupees therefore total earnings is time taken into rate per hour 48 into 30 will get 1440 plus bonus is 180 total earnings is equal to 1620 as per halse premium plan next we need to calculate total earnings under rowan's premium plan uh, the formula is similar total earnings is equal to time taken into rate per hour plus bonus the difference is uh, you know, the, the, the difference between halse plan and rowan plan is calculation of bonus so here under rowan's plan bonus can be calculated by using the formula that is time saved divided by standard time into time taken into rate per hour time saved is 12 hours we have already calculated divided by standard time we have calculated in the working note that is 60 hours into time taken that is weekly working hours is 48 hours into rate per hour is 30 rupees so 12 by 60 you will get 0 0.2 into 48 into 30 the bonus will be 
288 rupees. So total earnings will be time taken 48 hours in a week into rate per hour is 30 rupees. Bonus is 288 rupees. So 48 into 30 you will get 1440 plus 288 is the bonus. Therefore total earnings will be 1700 and 28 rupees as per the Rowan's premium plan. It is about the calculation of total earnings of a worker under straight piece rate system, then Taylor's differential piece rate system, then Halse premium plan and finally Rowan's premium plan. Thank you students.